our top story, advocating for justice inside the Tulsa County Juvenile Detention Center. Two News has been questioning those accountable since this spring. That's when a civil lawsuit was filed alleging disturbing sexual and physical abuse involving up to 30 kids. Up to now, they've been called child does in public documents, but that could change. The civil lawsuit filed by multiple John, Jane, and Child Does housed at the Tulsa County Detention Center alleges systemic abuse, denied medical treatment, deliberate poisoning, excessive confinement, drugs, and rape. But a new document filed by defendants, which include Tulsa County commissioners, a judge, former and current staff, wants some Doe pseudonyms to use initials instead. Why? Why do we need to do that? Chris Brecht, who represents the family, said he was shocked. Defense attorneys want all but six alleged victims to be named by initials in public documents, partly because they claim abuse, but not physical sexual assault. Who gets to decide what level of abuse is bad enough that you get to have absolute privacy versus kind of privacy. For example, defense attorneys object to child doe five not using initials. Five does not allege rape, but alleges harassment, that they were forced to tell another child to use Vaseline so it, quote, wouldn't hurt, and witnessed a rape. Brecht believes this is a bully tactic to scare kids out of being involved in a lawsuit. Because when you just have one or two or three kids saying that something bad happened, it doesn't carry the weight that 30 kids all say the same thing. Because some of his clients are still inside the facility that currently houses roughly 30 juveniles, Brecht says that limited pool is identity revealing. Pretty brazen that the entities that were supposed to be protecting them in the first place are now continuing to bully them for standing up for themselves. I emailed six of the Tulsa-based attorneys representing the defendants for their response to the bully tactic concerns. I heard back from one who stated the Board of County Commissioners fully supports preserving the anonymity of all juveniles represented in this case and indicated initials provides anonymity. And the court document maintains there needs to be exceptional circumstances to warrant the use of pseudonyms, pointing to federal rules. If I hear back from any of the defense attorneys for further comment, I will add that to this story on our website.